This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Another person is behind bars in Steuben County for allegedly growing marijuana in a home where a child lives. Police arrested 35-year-old Susan Mosher and charged her with endangering the welfare of a child. Yesterday, we reported police arrested Michael Goss for illegally growing weed. He was also charged with endangering the welfare of a child. Police say both Mosher and Goss grew marijuana in the closet of their child's bedroom on Smith Road in Thurston. The arrest stems from a Child Protective Services complaint. Both are set to appear in court again at a later date. Police arrested an Elmira man for allegedly flashing a woman and offering her money for sex multiple times in Elmira Heights. 21-year-old Dakota Yerkes is charged with public lewdness and attempted patronizing a person for prostitution. A woman reported being followed in her car by a man as she was leaving 7-Eleven in the Heights. She says he offered her money for sex and exposed himself to her multiple times while she was driving away. Police have identified Yorks as the suspect after the woman took down his license plate number. He was arraigned in Elmire Heights court yesterday and will reappear at a later date. And an update to a story we told you about yesterday morning. Police have arrested the suspects who allegedly robbed Buchanan Brothers Pharmacy in Elkland. Around 9 o'clock yesterday morning, police got a tip that Angela Cox Watson and Christopher McCormick were in Tioga Township. They were apprehended after their car had slid into a ditch. It's not clear what the suspects allegedly took, but police say they demanded drugs. They're both charged with burglary, robbery, terroristic threats, and receiving stolen property. The two are in the Tioga County Prison on $375,000 bail. A traveling Vietnam Memorial Wall is expected to draw big crowds to Hornell over the next several days. The wall is 300 feet long and a reminder of the great sacrifices made during the Vietnam War. A memorial service will be held at 6.30 tonight at Arcport Cycles in Hornell, and then the wall will be on display there around the clock through Monday. During that time, vets will describe their war experiences each morning at 10 at the wall. The New York State Department of Transportation is expecting a lot of people to visit the memorial, including many veterans' motorcycle clubs, so drivers should expect delays in the area. And now here's Craig Flint with a look at today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Okay, Leanne, so here's the deal today. We'll have to be mindful and keep an eye to the sky this afternoon because we have the opportunity for some scattered storms to come through. We have one little batch of wet weather, some embedded thunder that will work its way through the Finger Lakes uh, through the mid to late morning. That will go by, and then as we head into the afternoon, refiring scattered storms and there's an opportunity for one or two of these storms this afternoon to cop a little attitude meaning a few of them may have uh, some damaging wind or some small hail we'll keep you posted overnight tonight leftover shower storm with a low near 60. so over the northern tier for you on this thursday warm and humid a breeze from the south and temperatures topping out in the upper 70s to the low 80s with scattered storms developing this afternoon. A high of about 80-ish, 82 or so for Elmira, Corning at 84, upper 70s, uh, Hornell and Bath. With scattered storms moving through and then over the Finger Lakes, this area this morning, especially like Penyan and Yates County, will have some wet weather also included as northern Steuben County. Uh, that will little batch of wet weather will track through and then there will be kind of a regeneration and re firing of showers and storms as we head into the afternoon hours. So there it is that one little batch right there. So we've got this little cluster coming into southwestern New York State. That's what's going to clip through the Finger Lakes with some thunder and lightning this morning and maybe some uh, gusty wind. And then the front will come through as we head into the afternoon. There will be a scattered line of thunderstorms along that front and uh, I'm, I'm concerned enough about it to let you know that one or two of these may have some damaging wind or some hail. A high of 80 today and then Friday it's these widely scattered to isolated like hit or miss type things that come through. Most of the time it's rain free uh, uh, Friday that is. 79. Saturday is the pick day. I think low 80s. Then we get into Sunday, scattered storms, 75, and then the period Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday 
will be classified by showers and breezy weather and a little cooler too. Leanne. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 36 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day, everyone.